and welcome back to the vlogs. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I created Zoe's Halloween costume. So this was really exciting for me because this is Zoe's first Halloween we've spent together because last Halloween she was missing so this was extra special so I wanted to go all out so I decided to turn Zoe into Dino from the Flintstones and because she is in a wheelchair I decided to get a little creative and I turned her wheelchair into the Flintstone car and it was actually a lot easier than you think so I'm going to show you guys the DIY and I'll do a voiceover so I can explain everything that I'm doing and then I'll show you guys how to do her super easy costume that I made out of a regular t-shirt so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching so I actually had a bunch of boxes laying around from my PR unboxing so I just took my box cutter and I just started cutting up a bunch of pieces of the box and I was going to use this to design the Flintstone car on Zoe's wheelchair and you'll see throughout this entire video, Zoe likes to be very involved. So she's my little helper for this DIY project. So here I'm just trying to visualize how I'm going to set this up on her wheelchair and what pieces are going to be what. So this is just kind of like brainstorming right now. So I know not everyone has like a doggy wheelchair for their dogs. So you can definitely um, use this DIY for like strollers or a wagon or anything like that. Um, it's super, super easy to do. So um, I decided I needed some more boxes, so I was just cutting up some more. I'm also going to throw in the little inspiration pictures that I found on Pinterest. I don't know who to actually credit, but I just saw these pictures floating around on the internet, and that's definitely what helped inspire this DIY project for Zoe's wheelchair. So as you can see, they weren't designed for doggy wheelchairs. They were meant for like strollers and wagons and things like that. So you can definitely customize this for whatever suits your your situation, your lifestyle. So now I'm just going to take a pencil and start sketching out the designs on the cardboard pieces so I know what is what. And again, Zoe likes to be very, very involved. She's just so curious and interested in what we're doing. It's so cute. And then she decided she wanted to just go ahead and lay on this first cardboard that we're working on. So I'll just let her stay there and I'll work on another cardboard in the meantime. So I am just going to draw out everything and I'll show you guys exactly what I draw out here in a second. So there's little Zoe guarding the cardboard. So here is our little Y shape log and then we're just going to cut that and I made two of these. So we have two Y shaped logs and then I have these long um, pieces that are gonna go right there. So I cut out two of those and then I also cut out two smaller rectangles. These are going to be the top of the Flintstone car. So as you can see, it's shorter. So those are the pieces we have right now. And then also two circles. I know they're not perfect circles, but we cut out two circles and all of this was just from a cardboard box. So use whatever you have accessible for you. I It was really cool because I made this entire costume for Zoe and I didn't spend a single penny. Like these were all just things I had laying around the house already. So that was super awesome. So now I'm heading over to the garage and this was the only paint I could find. It was acrylic black paint. So that's what I'm using. I just needed a black and a white. So I am painting the edges first of all of the wood or log pieces. And because I sketched it out in pencil, it makes this part super easy. So it took me like, only 10 minutes to paint all of the pieces and then I just let them dry in the garage and it only took about an hour or two to let it dry fully. So once they're all dry, these are the pieces we have now. I also made these two smaller circles. So we have our two white pieces, which are our wheels. We have our two Y-shaped logs, which I actually reinforced with another piece of cardboard just so that it was a little bit sturdier and not as flimsy. And I'm also doing it with the longer pieces as well, just so that everything is a lot more sturdy and not as flimsy. So I just cut out the shape and then I'm just hot gluing it together. So now it's thicker and sturdier. So here's how the pieces are going to line up. We have the smaller circle on top, then the Y-shaped log, and then the wheel in the back. 
So we're just going to hot glue all of this down together just like that. I'm so glad I didn't throw away all the um, packaging from my PR unboxings because a lot of this came in handy. So I had this styrofoam piece and I took my box cutter and I made these four little rectangles. And then I also found these um, zip ties in my garage. So that is going to come in handy. So I'll show you guys what we're gonna do with that right now. So I'm taking the zip tie and just pushing it through the foam, the styrofoam, piece and it just slips through really easily. So we're doing that on all of the pieces because we are going to attach the foam to the cardboard and then the zip tie to the wheelchair. That's how it's going to attach. And the reason we needed the um, styrofoam, I'll show you here in a second, because there's this piece on Zoe's wheelchair that kind of sticks out so the cardboard wasn't touching it directly. So that's why I needed something in the middle and the styrofoam just worked out perfectly. So here is how I want the cardboard to sit on Zoe's wheelchair. I want it to be aligned like this, but as you can see, it doesn't actually touch the metal poles on her wheelchair. It touches this black part on her wheelchair, so there's this weird gap, and that's where the styrofoam and the zip ties come in. So I'm going to hot glue the styrofoam like that, and then we'll zip tie it to the metal poles on her wheelchair. So just got to be a little creative, that's all. So while I'm hot gluing this and working on this part, I just wanted to explain um, kind of the design that I came up with for this. So most of the inspiration pictures that I showed you, it had the full like Flintstone car effect with the front and back wheels. And for Zoe's, I only did the back wheels. Um, so with the white circle that I created, those are the back wheels. I didn't create the front part of the car just because Zoe's body was like in the way and I didn't want to put anything around her because I knew that would that would have scared her and made her uncomfortable. So that's why um, her entire like wheelchair look, it's only the back of the car, if that makes sense. But I still think it looks so, so adorable and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But I just wanted to explain that is why there's no front wheels to the Flintstone car. So now that our little styrofoam pieces are glued down, we're gonna go ahead and secure them on to her wheelchair with the zip ties. This was super easy to do. I'm just going to secure it down and then the little excess part sticking out, I did cut off with some scissors. So here is what it looks like. Ah, I think it turned out so good and I love that it doesn't touch the ground when her wheelchair is resting and it doesn't touch her actual wheels of her wheelchair so she can keep running as much as she wants and it won't interfere. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the next side and here is what it looks like with both of the pieces on the wheelchair and I think it's so cute. So now that we have that done, we can work on the top half of the Flintstone car. So I'm taking one longer piece and one shorter piece and we're going to hot glue it like this to create the top part of the car. So I'm just going to hot glue that down Okay, so this part I wanted to include in the video just to show you guys the trial and error that you might experience doing these type of DIY projects. It might not always work out exactly how you have it planned, but you just have to adjust accordingly to make it right. So I did reinforce this bottom half with some more cardboard just to make it more sturdy. And then what I did was lay down a zip tie and then hot glue it on and I thought I thought this was going to work and and then I put a piece of cardboard on top just to hold down the zip tie. And I was just going to tie this onto her wheelchair like that and hope that it stayed up. But one zip tie did not do it. It was just sort of leaning forward and it wasn't standing upright. So I ended up just ripping this off and trying again. So instead what I did was I laid down two zip ties on the bottom part of this piece that we're working on right now. I laid down two zip ties, I hot glued it, and then I laid a smaller little rectangle cardboard right on top to kind of secure the zip ties into place. And then once that was dry, then I attached it to the wheelchair and it worked a lot better. So once we do the same thing to the next side, this is what it should look like. It is all coming together and I'm getting super excited right now. So here is what it looks like right now. 
So the final piece to this project is adding the white cloth. And I found this in the garage. It was just um, left over, like, I think this might have been a curtain or bed sheet or something, but it was just kind of scrap fabric that I found in the garage. So um, nobody, nobody needed it. So I just used this and I cut out the um, right amount of length that I needed for this. And then I just hot glued this fabric onto the cardboard and then did a few cuts here and there to add the details to the cart and that was basically it. It was super, super easy. I did have to um, reinforce the top part of the wheelchair. I put just some sticks that I found. I don't know, they looked like little kebab sticks, but I just put that on the frame so that way it kind of held up the cloth a little better and it kind of kept its shape better. So that is all I did. It was super, super easy. And this is what the finished cart looks like. And it's so adorable. Now for the dino costume. This is the little shirt that Zoe's going to be wearing. I just picked up a plain purple shirt. I got a size medium, which was definitely the wrong size for Zoe. She's 60 pounds, so I thought a medium would be ideal, but a small would have been better. Um, so I have this purple shirt, it was only like three bucks, and then I found this yellow and blue felt um, material from my mom's garage, so I didn't have to pay for that, I just found that. Um, and that's all I'm gonna use to create this costume, and black paint. We're gonna use the same acrylic black paint. So I'm gonna first start off by cutting off the arm sleeves because we want this to be kind of a tank top because my costume is gonna be a tank top, so Zoe's costume is going to be a tank top too. So now I'm just going to put the shirt on Zoe just so I can get a feel of how the fit is. And as you can tell, it is way too big for her. So I did the best I could with adjusting. So I'll show you guys how I did that. But here's what it looks like on Zoe right now. So I cut the torso part in half because it was just way too long for Zoe. So now it looks like a little baby crop top. So now I'm going to work on the collar part. So I have my blue and yellow felt here and I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut the blue felt to kind of fit it around the entire collar and then we're just gonna hot glue it down into place. And then for the yellow felt, I just cut a small little piece to be the little collar and I made it a diamond and I thought that was the way I wasn't looking at a reference picture when I did this, so I thought that was the way it was supposed to look, but then I realized that's more of like Scooby-Doo vibes. So if you want it to be a little more dino realistic, make it a circle. I made mine a diamond. <laughs> So now taking the same black acrylic paint that we used for the Flintstone car, we're going to use that because it was the only black paint I could find. And I'm going to paint the little spots on the top part of the shirt so that way when Zoe wears it, it has the spots on her back to look like dino. So here is what the shirt looks like now, and I didn't record this part, but I wanted to show you guys that I made cuts along these lines right here. And I just found that this was a lot easier and it also fit her a lot better because the shirt was just kind of drowning on her. So this way we have sort of this cape. So this is what it looks like. We have those long pieces that we cut out on the side. This is actually gonna tie around her belly. And then the entire like chest part, I cut out completely. So now it's like this little cape that we can just slide over her head like so, super easy. And then we'll just gently tie it around her belly. And it's just a lot more comfortable for her and it's just easier to put on. So it's just easier for all of us. So that is how we made this shirt. And that is it for this video and this DIY costume. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was so much fun for Zoe and I to create this costume together. And I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I low key wish we entered some sort of like doggy Halloween contest because I'm pretty sure Zoe would have won. I mean, come on, look at her. Look at her, she's so, so cute. So that is it for this DIY project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see how I got this look and how I created my super easy Pebbles costume, then make sure you head over to my main channel because I filmed an entire get ready with me look. And I also showed you guys behind the scenes on how I created my little outfit, my little bone in my hair and all that stuff. So, and how I styled my hair too with this bone. So if you guys want to see that, I will leave it linked in the cards or, no, the cards, 
that way. I'll leave it linked in the cards or the description box for you guys. And be sure to follow Zoe and I on Instagram because I posted a lot more photos of our costumes. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you are going to be for Halloween. And I hope you guys have a fun and safe Halloween. Bye! Bye!